Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound NaBrO4. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you're dealing with three or more different elements, right, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's really important to spot out the polyatomic first and then work from there. In this case, we have three elements. We have sodium, which is Na, we have bromine, which is Br, and we have O for oxygen. Now, remember, polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. You need to memorize those. So that's why I wrote down our polyatomic that we're going to see in this example. BrO4, which always has a negative one charge, you guys should memorize what they are, what the polyatomic is, the charge, and the name. Okay, so BrO4 minus one is always called per bromate. And here it is. I spotted it out. BrO4 right here. So the only other element that we have to label is the sodium, which is Na. And that's a metal because it's right here on the periodic table. Anything in group one, except for hydrogen, is a, a metal. So it's like right down here. Okay. Now we're ready to name. The metal name comes first, and that name always stays the same. So Na is just sodium. I don't have to do anything with that name. And then the polyatomic, that name always stays the same. So that's why you got to memorize them. This is per bromate. So I'm just going to write per bromate. And do we need a Roman numeral? Because it's ionic, right? But since sodium, the metal, is not a transitional metal, it's not in this block, I don't need to have a Roman numeral. Group ones don't need a Roman numeral. So you're done. So NaBrO4 is just sodium per bromate. Hope for this help, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. Thank you so much for that. And I'll see you guys all in later lessons, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.